So in Sina, th there is a contradiction given the fact that you, the BJP is trying to grow at the expense of the AIDMK, but what the election intelligence data shows is that given the fact that both opposition parties are fighting separately, and given also that the India Alliance is intact in Tamil Nadu, it's actually advantage uh, the India Alliance, and that's what gets Mr. Chapra confident that when they get this election off, at least in power play in the first phase of polling on those 100 plus seats, uh, the India Alliance will get off to a pretty solid start. Well, good evening, Rahul. Good evening, everybody. These will be, this will be a watershed moment in Tamil Nadu's politics because with the way the BJP's support has grown under the leadership of uh, Anna Malai is nothing short of phenomenal. Now, I do believe that uh, the vote share eventually will be over 20% and we are, we have a strong chance in at least six to seven seats. That includes Kanyakumari, that includes Coimbatore, uh, Chennai South, Dharmapuri, among others. You know, our messaging has been very crystal clear. We see Tamil Nadu as one of the one of the five important states that will be the first to touch one trillion dollar economy. Tamil Nadu is going to play a very crucial role in our Vixit Bharat journey. You simply cannot afford to have a dispensation that DMK and Congress provide, which is essentially divisive, which is anti-Sanatan and which thrives on, on a divisive agenda between North and South India, besides having a pro-radical mindset. And this messaging has struck a chord with the people of Tamil Nadu. So you will see on the voting day, you will see a surge in favor of BJP and BJP will throw a surprise um, uh, that, that uh, will surprise many of the posters as well. So let me give you a sense of how the turnout has really been in uh, Tamil Nadu in past elections. So 73% in 2009, 73% again in 2014 and 72% in 2019. It will be interesting to see where this uh, percentage ends up on uh, the 19th. If you look at uh, the gender voting percentages in Tamil Nadu, uh, usually men have voted a little bit more, but that has now started changing uh, towards the last few elections. And we're seeing this in several uh, other states as well you've now got a situation where more women are coming out to vote. And we've seen in past elections, especially uh, with uh, Jai Lalita, how women help the AI DMK do better. Challenging Sapra, coming back to the big overall picture, while Tamil Nadu does provide uh, some hope for the India Alliance, the fact is, if you look at the overall picture for uh, phase one, given that polling is also happening in phase one, uh, in uh, parts of Rajasthan, in parts of Uttar Pradesh, do you think that's really where the problem is? Tamil Nadu will typically go along expected lines, but it is in the heartland where the BJP and the Congress are up against each other, and that's where the Congress's real problems are. See, Rahul, uh, definitely in Tamil Nadu, uh, the India Alliance is on a strong wicket, and likewise, I would like to say, even in the Hindi heartland, there are uh, the real issues on the ground uh, where, uh, regarding on which the people would like to vote. Uh, the issues are like the rising inflation, the rising uh, unemployment, uh, the financial disparity, the farmers' issue, uh, the MSP of the farmers or the uh, loan waiver of the farmers, the atrocities on Dalits, Mahilas, and all these things. These are the issues which are there on the ground in the Hindi heartland also. And people have been watching all this that Bharatiya Janta Party, uh, which is, you know, I, I say Bharat ki Juti Party or Jumla Party. So these Jumlas are not going to work. People have heard all these Jumlas uh, for at least 10 years and people are not going to believe this. People just want to vote on the issues. Like this 2024 is going to be an election, Modi versus Mudda. People are going to see the Mudda, the issues. And likewise, they are going to vote. So I don't think so that Hindi heartland also the BJP numbers are definitely not going to increase. They are going to decrease because Sanjay they have full numbers in Rajasthan. Okay. Sorry? Sanjay Kumar, when was the last time we saw something like this? In an area where there is so much blue as there is in Tamil Nadu, the BJP making the intensity of effort. You know, when you go back in time, given uh, the low starting point for the BJP in the Lok Sabha elections in the state of Tamil Nadu and the intensity of the effort, when have we seen something like this? So much effort for such limited immediate gain in the medium to long run that could change the BJP could become uh, the alternate force over there but right now given what else is at stake is a lot of effort for limited gains 
Uh, how do you look at this approach? And uh, you've been doing your own polling, your own analysis. What are you picking up about Tamil Nadu? Uh, Rahul, more or less similar to what everybody else has talked about, maybe Rajdeep and Yashwan Deshmukh, we also are getting a sense that in Tamil Nadu, BJP has made huge inroads. And when I say huge inroads, it is compared to 2019 performance of BJP. Uh, my own sense is that BJP along with the allies are somewhere close to 20% vote. Now the question is, can this 20% vote convert into large number of seats? That's unlikely to happen. Yes, BJP may pick up few seats here and there, which could be case specific. But 20% votes cannot give a huge amount of seats to any party and that's likely to happen. Yes, I think BJP has been able to put in a lot of effort. The gains, immediate gains may be small, but I think in the long run, uh, I see Tamil Nadu politics moving in the direction of TMK on one side, DMK with its allies, and BJP taking a lead on the other end. AI DMK is going down. Uh, while the survey doesn't give me a sense of whether the trend would continue of DMK, AI DMK's decline, but given the fragmentation in AI DMK politics and the way BJP has been able to make inroads, at least from the pre poll survey, my sense is that the politics in Tamil Nadu, the future politics in Tamil Nadu will be on two axes. One DMK on one side and the other side will be led by BJP in the coming years. Okay. 